welcome to Our Crazy Life. We're a family of seven traveling the world full time. Chris, Leslie, Lucy, Grant, Lincoln, Harrison, and Grace. We are the Seven Wayfinders. Welcome to another adventure in the day of the Seven Wayfinders. Today we are road tripping. Road trip! Road trip! Road trip. We're going to show you how crowded the car is. We had planned to get a car top box and then got too lazy. And so now we had to cram it all in a car. Okay, so we're really crowded. Grant and Lincoln have to share a seat. Good thing they have little bums. This is what you get when you have seven people and all their excessive luggage and Christmas stuff and groceries. Let's just be clear. Part of the problem is the fact that we're bringing three bags of extra food. And another part of the problem is we literally have what amounts to like two suitcases of Legos. All Legos. <laughs> I've had to remove one of my shoes so that I can drive a little bit more safely. <laughs> I've had to remove one of my shoes so I can put my leg up on the dash to relieve the cramping. And poor Grant is like sitting on top of the seatbelt buckle in his bum. It's very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. All right, guys, we'll update you as we go. I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't even told Chris this yet, but I read some of the reviews of the house, and they said in the winter you should have snow tires or chains, which we have neither. So that was written in February. Hopefully December's not quite as snowy, but I'm a little nervous. How do you feel about that? It's like we'll be buying some chains. Yeah, we'll be buying some chains. Because we have so much extra room. <laughs> There's our cute little red house. I think we have to go in that white fence. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it's way cute. It's definitely not in the middle of nowhere like we thought. Woo, look at this frosty frosty. Here's our cute little house with the hot tub. Hopefully daddy can get in. These little gates are no, no easy feat. There's the Christmas tree and they even decorated it for us. Look how cute that is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We made it. called Suen, Soen, something like that. S-E-W-E-N. And uh, it's about, uh, it's in Eastern France and it's about 45 minutes outside of Strasbourg. The kids are taking us on an adventure. They've been on this hike twice without us. So we thought we better come see where it goes. Our big kids. Cause you can do that in a town like this. Just go outside. <laughs> Until that you have to sneak by the neighbors and we're going to get back. I, uh, as we're starting to head up this mountain, I'm getting a little bit skeptical as to where my children have been taking us. Or where they've been going. Run, Harry. It's a super cute village.
We are headed to Strasbourg, France, and we are going to see Grandma. Okay, so from a previous video, you may have seen that Chris proposed in Paris because I got a new diamond. Yay! Grandma went downtown to Denver to the wholesale jewelry show to go buy said diamond for us. And on her way leaving the jewelry show, on her bike in downtown Denver, hit some railroad tracks, flew over her handlebars, shattered her pelvis, basically. Many, many, many breaks in her pelvis. So Chris's first response when I read him this text message is of course, does she still have the diamond? <laughs> it was expensive. <laughs> so after my initial frustration at his initial question and at determining that grandma was okay, the answer was yes. She still had the diamond and she was just as worried about it as Chris. So grandma had to go in the hospital, have kind of emergency surgery. We thought it was her hip, blah, blah, blah. Point is she's got two big pins in her pelvis. It didn't look good for her coming to visit us for Christmas and we haven't seen her since Bangkok. So it was gonna be really super sad. Lots of tears on all sides. Through it all, her doctors agreed to let her come. She's doing a Viking cruise. She'd planned to do a Viking cruise before ending and coming to see us. So her Viking cruise lands today in Strasbourg. We're off to see Grandma. We're off to see Strasbourg. We and booked this house. Market. We booked this house thinking we were closer to Strasbourg. And then when we looked it up, when we got here, it's two hours. That was a bummer. So we're actually spending the night and hopes of seeing a little more of it. And then we're headed to... Downtown. Frankfurt! And then after Frankfurt, we're going to Cologne. Germany. Germany. So we'll hit a new country tomorrow. We're gonna go to Germany for the first time with our kids. Woo woo! And we're hoping to also, we're very, very close to Switzerland here. So we're also hoping another day we can make it in Switzerland. Switzerland? Anyway. We're off to see some Christmas markets. Wish us luck. Hey Harry, what are you gonna do when you have your own money? I would get Gracie a doll and Rosie an Elsa set and me a lot of four Lego sets and and Lincoln some and Grant some. And I'll also get the big Harry Potter cancel and some gluten and gluten free donuts. It's a big bag full of treats. And you're just gonna build Legos all day? Yeah, and eat donuts and cheese. <laughs> we just got to our hotel in Strasbourg, dropped off our stuff, walking towards the city center to go see Grandma. It's been a little rough, not gonna lie. But hopefully things will turn around. Tabasco 
Is he? I think it's a girl. Come here, baby. He's wild. No, he has a collar and a tag. He belongs to someone. He's someone's pet. I know it's frustrating that the kitty won't come, but you have to have cats come to you. No, Harry. No. Hi, baby. Bye. It's kitty. It's not baby. It's Kenny! Kenny! Hey! Hey, Daddy! 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 Hey, He's, he's in book world right now, so. Okay, I'll go get him. Not too bad of a view. Oh, here's that bath. 